time to do a continuation of something we have been doing for a really long time on my channel, customizing Starbucks cups. So if you've been following me for a while, you may see these videos pop up from time to time. And it's a really fun activity. These cups are the perfect material for so many different types of art supplies. They're really fun to draw on and yeah, it's enjoyable. Now, as I said, I've been customizing cups for a really long time. This is something that I've grown to enjoy immensely. So I hope that this brings you some good entertainment and that you enjoy it too. Let's get started. So for this first cup, I am laying down a thin layer of burnt sienna because guess what? We are doing something that we have not done for any of my previous cups. We are painting this entire cup with acrylic paint and I do not believe we have done that yet. I think we've done like patches. However, we're gonna have fun with this and we're going all out. So let's see what happens. Now I have covered a few cups with gouache paint and acrylic gouache. So it's a little similar. So I think this will turn out okay and have good coverage. Right now I'm doing a muted blue color and I'm building up white to create clouds. After a couple layers of clouds and messing around with some whimsical brush strokes, I think it turned out okay. So I moved on to some brighter colors at the bottom of the cup. Can you guess what has inspired this cup? You probably have seen that I've done some floral paintings the last, I don't know, like two months. It's been a good time. I decided to carry that theme onto this cup and see how it looks. So right now I'm just blocking in all the flower colors and now I'm doing the contrast with the leaves. You know how in the spring a lot of people go to like tulip fields and in the fall they go to like sunflower fields and it's just such a great place to take family photos or just do a photo shoot for whatever occasion. <laughs> I felt like this cup sort of expressed a flower field because of how big the sky was. And it just felt like if this was a real life scene, the flowers would probably just continue going and going and going and nothing would be around except flowers in a big cloudy sky. Anyway, this cup was really fun to create and it was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be because acrylic paint is a medium that I'm super familiar and comfortable with. So I think this cup just felt really intuitive. And here is how it looks now that it's done. This was really fun. I don't think I've ever actually done a full cup in acrylic paint. I think I've done like patches of acrylic. So I'm pretty happy with it. I think we'll definitely be using acrylic paint on more cups in the future. Cause yeah. Flowers have really been inspiring me lately. Hence why I've been painting them. But you know what else has been inspiring me lately? Taking classes on Skillshare. I just feel like there's so many ideas on there and things that I can learn 
that whenever I'm in like a creative rut, it's just so nice to go over there and find something that I can enjoy. So first I wanna thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Let me tell you a little bit about it. Skillshare is an online learning community where you can find inspiration in different classes and just take the next steps in your creative journey. There is so much to choose from and they're always adding new classes. For instance, if you're interested in illustration, photography, ceramics, graphic design, fine art, there, there's so much more. That's just the tip of the iceberg. I'm always just so impressed every time I log in and I'm like, whoa, there's new classes. So I'm always, you know, favoriting stuff. <laughs> And actually, if you enjoy my sketchbook idea videos, you might love the class that I'm currently taking. It is called Illustrated Journaling, 14 Days of Prompts by Dylan Mirzwinski. It is such a fun class. She walks you through 14 entire days of prompts that you can use to illustrate in your journal or your sketchbook. Such a good one. Skillshare also really values your learning and advancing toward goals with short lessons that have no ads. With Skillshare, you can watch yourself evolve by you know starting small and then turning those small steps into giant leaps and then boom, you're hitting a goal. And when you join, you can try one of Skillshare's new live classes meaning you get real-time inspiration with well-known teachers on the site, and you get to learn alongside tons of other people in the world who are also watching. If you want to enjoy everything that Skillshare has to offer, the first 1,000 people to click the link in my video description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. And I'll also link that class that I mentioned down below too, I really think it will jive with you guys. I think you'll really enjoy it, but I think you'll also love that free trial of Skillshare Premium, so you should click that link. Skillshare has honestly helped me so much in my art journey, so I hope that it helps you too. Let's get back to the video. So we are going all out with this cup and getting a little funky. So you can see here, we are doing tons of polka dots. And now we're using Posca paint pens for this one because I thought it would be quicker to do the polka dots with a paint marker sort of thing than a paintbrush. And I really loved the effect. Now you can see all the colors at the top of the screen there. That is what I plan to use on this entire cup. So my hope is that this exudes a lot of happiness with all these colors. And you know how like when you go to a party, like a graduation party or a birthday party and there's confetti all over the tables and the floor and you just kind of feel that happy feeling inside. That's kind of what this cup reminds me of is just that happy party confetti without the mess. So that's what I was going for, and I was hoping that it wouldn't look too chaotic, but it also wouldn't look, I guess, sparse. Like, you know, I wanted the cup to show through, but I wanted it to be covered in confetti. Next, I'm using this holographic glitter paint, and ooh, this stuff is so amazing. It is so glittery, and I decided to completely cover the cup with this. This cup was really fun. I enjoyed making it look like a bunch of party confetti. I also just love how glittery it is. Oh my word. <laughs> so now we're gonna take this cup here and do something super fun on it. And this cup will be inspired by a show that I'm so obsessed with right now. I don't know if you guys have seen Shadow and Bone on Netflix, but my husband and I just binged it and it was so good. So I wanna do something inspired by that show on this cup and see how it turns out. We'll see, we'll see. Oh. 
All right, we are on the final cup now. And I saved the best for last. I am so incredibly excited about this cup. So I can't wait to tell you about it. You can see here that I painted it this moody, solid navy blue color. And I actually did that part in acrylic gouache so it would dry matte. And now I'm going in with acrylic paint and we're doing this stag here. So let me tell you a little bit about what in the world is going on. As I previously, previously, previously said, this cup is very heavily inspired by the show on Netflix called Shadow and Bone. And let me tell you something. I am not a person who rewatches shows very often. However, I've already watched this twice, so that says a lot. It's actually a book trilogy, so if you're a reader, it might be a good series to read. I think I'm actually going to order it and read it myself because I did not know it was a series until after I watched the show. But let's talk about the cup. I decided to obviously make this a fan art sort of cup and I generally don't do a lot of fan art. I don't really know why. I guess it's it's probably because I'm never really in the mood to. Except today, it sounded so fun. So yeah, I'm diving in, doing some symbolic stuff that pertains to the story. And I thought it would be so fun to take some creative liberties with this design. And you can see that the antlers sort of go around the Starbucks logo. The antlers are actually a little more full than this in the story but I thought it was really fitting for a Starbucks cup. I also thought it would be really fun too to like make this stag seem like it was almost glowing against the night sky. So that's why I did like navy blue and white. It was really, really fun to create this. And then after that, we're taking some gold paint cause you know me and my gold. We have to do something with gold on here. So you can see here, I am painting a sun summoner sort of symbol, and I looked at a lot of images online to find one that I liked. And this is the one I went with. And if you've read the books and I'm talking about stuff incorrectly, don't come for me. I plan to read the book soon, but yeah, this was so incredibly fun. And I feel like it, kind of got me out of a little bit of an art block because for the last couple days, I just felt like I was running short on ideas other than water and flowers. <laughs> and I didn't want to repeat that on the final cup. So this was a really, really enjoyable one. And I felt like it was very different than the stuff that I normally create. So I hope you like this one. Now, the cool thing about this cup, too, is you can interpret all these little dots that I'm doing as either stars in the sky or snow, depending on your mood. I intended for them to be stars, obviously, because the sun sort of thing. However, it also kind of looks cool if you imagine it as snow. So maybe in December, I'll imagine it as snow. <laughs> We finished all three cups and guess what? I honestly think the final one was my favorite. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I'm so obsessed with this show right now, I don't know. I never really do fan art either, so it was kind of fun to do that and put it on a cup. Anyway, yeah, let me know if you watch this show and if you're obsessed with it too. <laughs> I'm actually watching it a second time now. <laughs> Alrighty, well thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a marvelous day 
and uh, see you see you in a couple days or next week, depending on if I do a bonus video this week. Yeah. All right. Bye. <laughs>